Hello viewers, welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to discuss about National Tobacco Control Program. The topic has been taken from Unit 4 of Social and Preventive Pharmacy BFARM 8 SAM. So if you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting all the important informations related to pharmacy. So without wasting the time, let us begin the session. So, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare controlled the National Tobacco Control Cell. Now, it basically worked on the policy formulations, then planning, implementation, and monitoring and evaluation of different activities under National Tobacco Control Cell. So, this program was supervised by in charge from Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, and the technical assistance was provided by Deputy Ger uh, Director General, Chief Medical Officers. So it was launched in the year 2007 and 2008. You can see in that diagram also you have the uh, you have the what do you call you have that uh, committee you have that program being launched at three levels: national level, state level, and the district level. So you have the national tobacco control cells at the three working upon three levels: national, state, and district level. So the objectives of this National Tobacco Control Program is to bring about the greater awareness about the harmful effects of the tobacco use and about the tobacco control laws. Also to facilitate effective implementation of the tobacco control laws to reduce the production and supply of the tobacco products and ensure effective implementation of the provisions which are made under the cigarettes and other tobacco products under the prohibition of advertisements and regulations of trade and commerce production supply and distribution act also known as the cotpa so it helps the people to quit the tobacco use through the tobacco cessation centers so there are various tobacco cessation centers in india which actually provides and trains the people how to quit the tobacco the scope of the national tobacco program is mainly at the primordial and the primary level. When I say the primordial and primary level, it simply means that prevention is better than cure. You have to start early. You have to think about the harmful effects and you have to take the preventive measures to spread, prevent the spread of the tobacco. So it provides training to the health and social workers, NGOs, school teachers and enforcement officers. It also have provides various school programs so that an awareness is being created in the youth to prevent the use of tobacco. It also provides the information, education and counseling to all the young people and it also at the same time have the monitoring, mon monitoring over the tobacco control laws. It provides coordination with the Panchayati Raj system in the rural areas to inhibit and prevent the tobacco control and setting up and strengthening of the provision of the pharmacological treatment centers. So these are the centers which help the people to have to stop the use of tobaccos. Talking further about the National Tobacco Control Program, it is presently under implementation in 21 states covering almost 42 districts. So from the next 12th five-year plan, the whole country will be covered. Regular monitoring at the national and the state level and guidelines brochures provided by the NTCP, National Tobacco Control Program. Now let us try to talk about the COTPA. So COTPA is like cigarettes and other tobacco products. So it imposes the restrictions on the advertisements, promotions and sponsorships of the tobacco products. It also prohibits smoking in the public areas, prohibits sale to and by the minors. It prohibits the sale of the tobacco products within the radius of 100 yards within the educational institutions and also mandatory depiction of the specified pictorial health warnings on all the tobacco products and packs. It doesn't ban tobacco products per se. Talking further about the food safety and standards, which is also known as prohibition and restrictions on the sale of tobacco products. So, however, the production, sale, storage and distribution of food products containing tobacco or nicotine such as Gutka have been prohibited under the Food Safety and Standard Regulations 2011, dated 1st August 2011. 
talking further about the cotpa cotpa basically stands for the cigarettes and other tobacco products so it actually allows for the prohibition of the advertisements of these tobacco and cigarettes it, the act came upon in 2003 and is applicable to all the products which contains the tobacco in any form the law is extended to whole of the nation except jammu and kashmir including the states of jammu and kashmir and it also talks about the second hand smoke the, what is second hand smoke it is the smoke which is being exhaled or the burning of at the burning of the end of the cigarette the third hand smoke it refers to the residues from the tobacco smoke that clings to virtually all the surfaces uh, surfaces long after a bd cigarette has been extinguished and it could prove to be potential health hazard this is known as third hand smoke and the biggest risk are the young children next talking about the smoke like tobaccos also known as sltes so second hand smoke which is exhaled from the smoke after burning the end of the cigarette third hand smoke is the uh, fumes left out the residue left out clinging once the cigarette has been finished and it is very health hazard it is a very prone to health hazard and is a potential hazardous substance then now the, the very young children small children infants are at the biggest risk about it talking about the gats global adult tobacco survey so this program is being launched to monitor the adult tobacco use it tracks down the tobacco control indicators and it is national representation survey it uses consistent and standard protocols across the country include the india and it also assist other countries to generate the useful data thank you so much for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel pharmacy pdf for getting further updates and important informations pertaining to pharmacy thank you so much